Hello. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. How are you? Fine, teacher. Thanks, God. Very good. good evening. What about you? I am good. Good evening. I, I good am, evening. Hi, good evening. I am doing good. Today, I went to get my vaccine for mm -hmm. COVID, the fourth one. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. For me, I went to Sunday. Yeah, and I am alive. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm kidding. A lot of fever. Yeah, a lot of fever, with sweaty. The, with a bad, with a bad well, today, uh, thank God I didn't have any, well, I haven't had any reaction with any of the four. Oh, really? Yeah, it didn't give me any reaction. If I didn't take a video to the lady, I could swear that I didn't get it. Yeah, si no le tomara video cada vez que me la ponen, juraría que no me ponen nada. I don't have anything. Yeah. Yeah. They, are, they are very famous on my TikTok. <laughs> yeah. No. Well, it is a pleasure to be with you today in our last session for this module because I am sure that I am going to find you later in life in another module bigger like adults i am going to see you later in another module i am sure about it well uh, tell me my dear students did you have the opportunity to download your certificate yes teacher. okay can you please send the picture of the certificate on the group yes Okay, please send a picture of the certificate in the group. Okay. Only the, 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 the certificate that you get and send the pictures so we can prove that everything is completely done. I am going to turn, uh, to connect my computer. Give me one second. So send the picture to the group, please. Sorry, I was running out of battery. There I go. Cool. So uh, please, I'm going to be, hello, Elba, hello, David, hello, Janira, hello, Mr. Carlos, hello, Anita. Welcome to your class. And thank you for the ones who are sending the pictures already. Thank you very much. I have, I got the one from Anna. Very good. And I need you to send the rest. Please, you have all, all the, during all the class to do it. And, but please make sure that you send it so you can prove that you finish with everything and for sure that you are capable to pass to the next level. And for sure, I don't know if you already finished with all the documents that you have to send. Yes or no? ¿Ya enviaron toda su documentación, chicos? ¿O ya se las enviaron de parte de Recursos Humanos? ¿Ya preguntaron? No, teacher. No. No me no, nada. Oh, okay. No, they didn't say it. Okay. Okay. Si se la envían directamente de recursos humanos de su empresa, no hay problema porque ellos ya la han de haber enviado. Pero si eh, de repente, no sé si han revisado su correo, ahí les cae la documentación de seguimiento para el próximo módulo. Revisen, revisen. Eh, les voy a dar forward al mensaje que enviaron anteriormente para que también revisen eso. Ok. Sure. Okay, yeah. Y en el caso mío, ¿cómo sería? Eh, what is your case, Ingrid? Uh, el proceso que yo tengo es diferente. Yo estoy um, como en proceso de beca. Ah, ok. So, if you want, you can send me a message and I can investigate, ok? Ok. Perfect. Aprovechen. Si están en proceso de beca, mucho más que aprovechen la oportunidad. <laughs> 
Okay, so, but you have it with human resources, Anna. No, I have... Uh, you have it personal. A scholarship. Ah, okay, good. So I think it, in your case, there is no problem with, with that. Okay. Eh, ¿Tuvo que hacer el proceso en el módulo anterior? No. Sí, sí, en los tres módulos he tenido que hacer los procesos. Ok, entonces este, ya lo vamos a consultar. Entonces igual mándeme un mensaje privado y yo lo consulto. Ok. Ok, thank you very much. So, uh, for the rest of you, welcome to the class. I need you please to send me the picture of the certificate to the WhatsApp group so we can prove that you finish with everything uh, about the platform. Okay, thank you very much. And for sure, we are going to start in a moment with the presentations about the biographies. I am very sorry that I couldn't send uh, back the, the answers for the last ones because I was just arriving from work and I couldn't, but I am going to make uh, corrections and everything to the ones who, who present, okay? So uh, there you go, thank you. We're going to be waiting for the rest of the pictures. Okay, so by now, if you got your certificate already, it's because you finished with all the different parts of the process. And for sure, it was not easy in many of the cases because of the work, because of the time, because of all the different uh, things that you have to do every day. And I know that you are always very busy because you work and you do many things, but thanks to all the effort that you do every single day, because that really motivates me as a teacher to continue giving my best because I have students who do their best. And I always tell this to my students, education is the only thing that no one can take out from you. La educación es la única cosa que nadie le puede arrebatar que nadie le puede arrebatar de su vida. Se les puede perder el dinero, algún objeto, alguna cosa material, podemos perder algún gatito, algún perrito, algo, pero la educación jamás. Eso lo va a llevar a otro nivel de vida. No importa si tienen 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 40 o 41, porque hasta ahí llegan. El seguir aprendiendo, el seguir eh, eh, creciendo como personas motiva a todos los demás. Y si alguien más externo que no es de inglés corporativo está viendo este video y esta clase grabada algún otro día, aquí tengo pruebas fehacientes de que se puede. Así que, enter to study. <laughs> We are going to be waiting for you. So, let's start with our presentations of the night. I am very happy for that. I really love this day because it's, it's, it's a lot of yes. production. It's a lot of production. So I am very happy for this. So get, let me get my notebook. Please don't feel nervous if you see that I am writing because I am copying uh, mistakes to give feedback and to correct, okay? Don't say like, hey, la teacher está escribiendo todo lo que digo. No, don't feel bad about that, okay? Because it's for me to, correct later on, okay? It's for me to correct. That's the only purpose, corrections. And uh, at the end of all the presentations, I am going to give you the feedback, okay? Not after every single presentation. Si alguien hace un, o comete un error, ya que sí tiene que, tenemos que ponerle más atención, Ahí sí lo voy a interrumpir al final de sus presentaciones. Pero si no, todos al final de las presentaciones de todos vamos a recibir feedback, ¿ok? So, it is volunteer, uh, voluntarily, the one that you're going to, the order and everything, it's volunteer. So, uh, whoever wants to start, the stage is open. Who wants to be the first one? Mi teacher. Okay, Anna and then David. And the then main, the main field. <laughs> <laughs> you, you are such a lady, right? Yes. We're going to have Anna, 
David, number three, Eduardo. Eduardo, number four. Daisy. Yo. Number five, Evelyn. Yo. <laughs> Yo quién, dígame el nombre porque estaba anotando. <laughs> Elba. Elba. After Elba. Juan Eduardo. Juan, very good. Next. Carlos. Uh, who else? I have Ana, David, Eduardo, Daisy, Evelyn, Elba, Juan Eduardo, Carlos. Yanira, teacher. Yanira. Who's next? ¿Quién sigue? Si es el orden que vamos a llevar. Mire, Elmer, bien elegante, ve. <ríe> Él venía listo para la presentación. No, sí, que lo que pasa es que estoy en la casa de mi madre, entonces. Ah, anda vagando. No, no, ando, ando con ropa de trabajo. <ríe> excellent, but it's excellent. You look very elegant. So Elmer is the next one. <ríe> ok, teacher. Who's next after Elmer? Ajá. Me falta Abigail, Ingrid, Jorge, Josué. ¿Quién sigue? Abigail. Abigail. Después. Ingrid. Ingrid. Después. Jorge Tisha. Jorge. Y, well, y Josué Alexander. Sí. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. And I have 16 people connected. Who am I missing? Hey. Let me see. Falta Julio, teacher. Uh -huh. Julio. What are you? Let's see. Let's see. Jenny. Maybe Jenny, teacher. Jenny. Jenny, desde aquel día se anda escondiendo. No, la vez pasada se escondió Ana, que no lo quería pasar. And she say. Ok, Jenny. And me, it's 16. Very good job. So, Ana is going to start. So, the stage is completely yours. Go ahead. Okay, give me a chance to, there you go. Now? Yes, okay. <laughs> okay. I don't know if you see, but. <laughs> Cheese, Anna. Uh, her mother is Maria and her father is Nelson. She was born in Cojutepeque, El Salvador on November 12th in 1988. She studied from first grade to high school in Tonacatepeque and then she started to university in Tonacatepeque too, in, in the University of Don Bosco, but she didn't finish with some problems that she had. Uh, when she was 24, she worked in a college like a teacher for two years. Then, sorry. Then um, she met her boyfriend, but she didn't marry. Finally, she didn't do anything. She had a large vacations until she started uh, to study English in, in Safar. Thank you very much for listening. <laughs> 
Thank you very much, right? She took a long vacation, but it's never late to start, right? That's important. Thank you very much, Anna. Very beautiful presentation. I am going Thank to give you, you the feedback later on, but I can mention uh, the pronunciation of first. It's not first, it's first. Ah, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, I was a nervous. <laughs> In years, right? This is for everybody. Yes. Ahí todos agarren ahí un poquito ahí de, de cada uno de los feedback. <laughs> and she didn't did. She didn't do. Because you have didn't. Cuando ya tenemos la auxiliar y didn't, ya el verbo es normal. She didn't do. You say she didn't do anything. Uh, I did. No, <laughs> yeah. I say, teacher. I was nervous. Sorry. Okay. But I am the first. Oh uh, yeah, I understood. I understand that. that that's a <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Anna. Very nice presentation. Let's welcome. <laughs> let's welcome Mr. David. Go ahead. Teacher, puedo compartir allí la presentación. Me or you? You can share it. Puedo darle you. compartir pantalla. There you go. Se ve, teacher. Ahorita está cargando. Yay. Yes. Okay. Good evening, teacher, classmates. My autobiography. ¿Cómo se pronuncia biografía, teacher? Bi Auto biography. It says biography. Biography. Okay. My biography. His baby. Her mother is Filomena. Her father is Roberto. He was born in Port La Libertad, El Salvador, on January 25, 1917. He was the third son of his brother or the marriage of parents. David married Ritalena and has two children, Nair and Camila Morales. He is student from primary in La Libertad to high school in Santa Tecla, and he did her university studies in San Salvador. David Chip played Chibolas, Capirucho, and Trompo. He practiced his favorite sport were swimming, fishing, and soccer. He is behind, behind of wars, were, were in supermarket and gas company. David works in the general direction of custom and perform various functions. For example, office accounts, coordinator, and boss. David is specialist in custom last evaluation in classification of commodity and John custom stopping. Thank you very much. Very good job, Mr. David. You see, you see, Mr. David, very good job. I really, I am really happy to listen to you speaking in English, right? And without the fear, that's nice. Important, important changes. When you say her, you are referring to the pronoun of a lady. So change the pronoun her for his, because his is for boys, okay? It has to be his, H-E-S, his. His mother, okay. right? And his father. And okay. when you say, for example, he was the third son, David married Ritalena and had two children. He studied, that's correct. And he did his university studies in San Salvador. David child, you say, as a child, you say, as a child, como cuando era niño, as a child, okay. coma, David played chibolas, capirucho, and trump. Okay. okay, as okay. a child, David played chibolas, capirucho, and trompo. He practiced. You don't say he is practiced because you have two verbs, right? You say he practiced. Le borramos el is. He practiced his favorite sports. Okay. Uh, you say he practiced his favorite sports. Y ahí le quitamos el where porque estaríamos usando tres verbos. He practiced his favorite sports. Y ahí le pone la coma, ¿ves? Swimming, coma, fishing, and soccer. He, his first, his first jobs, his first jobs were in a supermarket and a gas company. 
David works in a general okay. direction of customs and performs varying functions. So the rest is correct. Okay. Uh, ahí le tomé una captura de pantalla. Después le voy a mandar las correcciones. Ya para, para que las compare con las que usted hizo ahorita. Thank you. Excelente. Okay. Thank, Thank you. Perfect. Thank you, Mr. David. A clap for David. Yay. Reacciones, ahí cohetes de vara, lo que le quieran tirar. Perfect. <laughs> Silvadores de todo. Mr. Eduardo, the stage is yours. So you can stop sharing, Mr. David. Thank you very much, Eduardo. And here I go. Uh, can you see? Yes. Okay. Um, Eduardo Romero. Eduardo Romero was born in San Salvador on September 15th in 1985. His parents are Milagro and Gilberto. He went to high school at Instituto Damián Villacorta in Santa Tecla, where he was part of a soccer team and participated in several tournaments. And then he began his studies at Universidad El Salvador in 2005 and graduated with a degree in economy in uh, 2012. He got a job at Ministerio de Hacienda as a tax analyst in the same years, which I interesting job. He got married in December 2014. He and, and he and his wife had a baby in 2015. Nowadays, he is studying English at Inglés Corporativo and lives happily with his family. Wow, what a beautiful biography. Very nice. Hey, I didn't know you had a baby. That's very yes. awesome. <laughs> That's very awesome. So uh, the pronunciation, 1985, that was good. The pronunciation of? Parents, parents, no parents, parents. Analyst, we have to change the writing porque es con Y, right? We have to change the writing of analyst. And which is an interesting job. And I think that's that's the only thing. And English is always with capital. La palabra English siempre es con mayúscula. E inglés corporativo lleva tilde. <laughs> inglés. That's it. Okay. Perfect job, very nice. Congratulations, Eduardo. Claps for Eduardo. Yeah. Now we're going to receive Daisy on the stage. Thank you. Okay. Go ahead, Daisy. She is Daisy, her mother is Noemi, her father is Cesar. She was born in San Salvador on January 6, 1983. She studied from kindergarten to high school in San Marcos. She did her university in San Salvador of the University of El Salvador. Then he worked for many years in government institution and currently Work in honor government. Thanks. Very nice job. Straight to the point. Yay! Claps for Daisy. Corrections. January, the word January, January. is with capital. Ahí solo la, la, la mayúscula in January. Uh, the pronunciation 1983. 1983. 1983. And currently. Currently, <laughs> currently, <laughs> it's a difficult word. I understand. Currently, okay. but that's good. Very nice job, Daisy. Thank you very, wow. very, very much. Evelyn, okay. go ahead. Thank you. Ms. Evelyn. Okay, my bro, my biography, uh, Evelyn Sahed. She has grown in, in Santa Tecla, El Salvador. 
one on on October three one hundred nine nine hundred ninety three daughter of she mother Evelyn Alparo her father Balmores ahead she study he high school of the Jose Damian Villacorta in Santa Tecla and she did her university studied in San Salvador she grad, graduate with a a degree in marketing and now she is to study English corporativo at night and works a para no sé cómo se dice el teacher. What is the word? Para legal. Let, let me see. Yo creo que aquí tengo su biografía. Ahorita la hago. Okay. And she lived with his mother and my brother. Very good, right? She lives with her mother and her brother, right? Because you are talking about another person. And let me see, I think I have it right here. Let me see, let me see. And my goodness, I didn't find it. Did you send it to me? Me la envió Evelyn para que se la revisara. <laughs> I also please send it to me and I can see it. Uh, little, little, uh, okay. So resend it to me, please, because I don't really know if I got it. And okay, little things that we can change. When you say she has born, she was born, she was, was born in 1993, 1993. A daughter of she mother, you say her mother was or her mother is, right? And the pronunciation of studied, she is studied. And uh, let's see, she studied at Inglés Corporativo at night. Okay, at night, the pronunciation. Okay, send me the paragraph and I can send you corrections if it's necessary. Okay, thank you very much, Evelyn. Very good. Juan, uh, sorry, Elba, the stage is yours. Thank you, Evelyn. The microphone, sweetie. Ya nos dio el lotín ganador. ¿Lo anotaron? <laughs> Go ahead. My daughter, Elba Carolina Vázquez Flores, was born in La Unión, in Chaca, in April 29, 1935. Her parents were Marina and Escolar. What is the name of the place where you work, Elba? Oh, so, but you work there in La Unión. Oh, that's nice. 19 years. A complete life there. Well, I just have a couple of comments when you say 
his, and it's her. In your case, it's the opposite, right? Change the, the one, I think you mentioned something, you say he's something. So, but it's her, porque se está refiriendo al pronombre femenino. And the pronunciation of parents. It's important, parents. Ya le voy a poner plan a todo, ya. <laughs> parents. But for the rest, it was very good. Thank you very much. <laughs> you were nervous. Elba, thank you very much. Very beautiful presentation. Let's welcome Mr. Juan Eduardo. Okay, un segundo mientras me preparo. <laughs> okay. Juan Eduardo, go ahead. Action. ¿Se ve la pantalla? Yes. Okay. Es Kiss Juan Eduardo Morán. He was born in Cabañas, El Salvador, on July 19, the 1990. But now he lives in San Salvador. He student now is in the University UCED in 2008. There he worked in legal office. But now Juan Eduardo worked in the custom del Salvador for eight years. He got married in 2019, and he, he has a beautiful son named Marcos. Juan Eduardo is studying English at this moment, and he has a very good teacher. <laughs> Yay, Juan Eduardo, what a beautiful presentation. And not because you say that you have a very good teacher, but it's a very good presentation. <laughs> Thank you very much. Pronunciation of leaves. He leaves. Yeah, he worked. Worked. Right? No work it. Worked. And a beautiful song. Right? That's the only thing. Thank you very much. Very good presentation. Let's receive Mr. Carlos. Claps for Juan Eduardo. Yay. Mr. Carlos, hoy, hoy fue voluntario y no lo escogí. <laughs> Siempre yo lo jalo para participar. <laughs> okay. There you go. Go, Mr. Carlos. He is Carlos. His mother is Miriam. His father is Rufino. He was born on July 6, 1981, in Santa Tecla. He studied primary school at the Corazón de María. School um, at the Instituto Nacional Manuel José Arce High School, a country auction. I go in a company that may serious. Carlos Carlin goes in a flower shop that we bring from Ecuador um, as a motorist. Oh, so in the company you bring flowers from Ecuador? Or, okay. Or yes. what? What do you bring? Flowers. Okay. See. Sí. Um. For uh, in a flower shop that we bring from Ecuador. Oh. Okay. Todas las flores mm -hmm. vienen de Ecuador. Okay. Ecuador. Eh, me faltó Colombia. <laughs> eh, wow. Me mm -hmm. What an interesting thing. <laughs> ya vende todo lo que se entera uno. <laughs> Sabía que, que importaban de Guatemala, pero no sabía que importaban. Ah, no, eso no sirve. Las mejores la mejor son Ecuador, las dos. Ecuador y Colombia. Ecuador por siempre. A ver. Ya, ya voy a pasar la dirección ahí para que me mande una, unos ejemplos. Vaya, un arregladito lo voy a mandar. Ah. Un arregladito. Hey, that's so nice. Oh, qué bonito. Póngame Como... diez. <laughs> Thank you very much. Pronunciation of studied, studied, and currently, currently, uh, currently. Very good job. Thank you, Mr. Carlos. Claps for Carlos. Yay. Very nice Thanks. job. Janita, it's your turn. Thank you very much. Let's go and look for Janita. Okay, I'm here. Go ahead. I I will tell about Janira Mendoza. She was born in Santa Ana, El Salvador. 
she lived there all the life. But when she came to work in main city, she decided to move definitely to San Salvador. She studied in Santa Ana. She graduated a career, a career of laws. And she began to study English, but she never practiced practice it. She had started working in the government like a lawyer. She is a serious person, but friendly after meet others. Actually, she's working at home for special reasons. Janira loves cats and hates dogs. She, oh. she uh, had, continue, continue. had several, several cats. Actually, she shared her house with her pet called Divina. Oh, That's nice. All. Divina. Divina is your cat, I guess. Sí. What, color is, what color is Divina? Maria y Blanco. Oh, yeah, that's why she's divine. <laughs> you have pronunciation. We have definitely, uh -huh. definitely. Uh, she graduated. She graduated. Uh, she began to practice English, right? She began to practice English. Uh, or she, no, she began to study English, but uh -huh. she never practiced. Uh -huh. And let's see. Uh, she has several cats, that's okay, right? She has had. Ella ha tenido, pero ahorita solo tiene una. Sí. Ah, okay, she Only has one. had. Entonces, ella ha tenido. She has had. Very uh -huh. good job. So, Janira, thank you very much. Thank you, for Janira. Thank you. Elmer, to the stage. Mr. Elmer, action. Hi, teacher. Hi. Good evening. Uh, my biography, Elmer Salas. Elmer Salas, he was born in Chalchuapa, Santa Ana in 1980. He studied in the Ranulfo Castro School. Elmer started, started the university in, in 1999. He is an accountant. Elmer got married in 2006. His wife is Marisol Aguilar. They studied together in the university. He had two daughters. He started to work in 2005 in university, in, in Ministerio de Hacienda, perdón. Uh, his hobby is read a book. Only that, teacher. Very good. Mr. Elmer, mi vecino de Chalchuapa. Yes. <laughs> okay, ¿y por dónde vive su mami, Elmer? Enfrente de la escuela Ranulfo Castro. Ah, yes, so, so you see, it's very, like, we are very centrical. <laughs> yeah, my mom lives in the center of the city, yeah. near, near the market. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we are very close. Pronunciation, biography, my biography, right? Biography. Okay. 2005, 2005. And when you say his hobbies are, it's when you mention more than one. So you say his hobbies are playing the guitar, playing basketball, playing football. But if you say his hobby is reading books because it's only one, okay? It's okay. the only thing. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yay. Let's Thanks. welcome Abigail. The stage is yours, Abigail. Thank you. Abby. 
There you are. Good night. Hello, good evening. Go ahead. Uh, my, my biography is, um, she is Abigail. Her mother is Esmeralda. Her father is Arturo. She was born in Santa Ana, El Salvador on February 10th, 1999. Uh, she studied from first grade to ninth grade <laughs> in Hoya de Serim. Then she went to, to high school in Inso. Then she worked at CDI, CDI for one year. Later, she worked in at Brown <laughs> for two years and she's currently studying, <laughs> studying English at Insafor and she likes to work in her garden and listen to music. Very good job, Abigail. What a beautiful paragraph. Very nice and very well made. Things, little things to, con to correct. When you say good evening, Good night is when you go to sleep. Cuando ya nos vamos a acostar, decimos, okay, people, good night. Y ya, porque ya voy a la cama, voy a dormir. O a ver el Facebook, o el TikTok, or whatever. <laughs> But you go to the bed, to sleep. Good night. But when you start having a class, you say, or when you say hello to people, you say, good evening. Okay, good evening. And currently, currently. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a difficult word I know we're going to practice everybody currently currently okay. thank you very much Abigail very nice Ingris the stage is yours teacher le acabo de enviar la presentación no sé si me puede por favor de proyectarme ahorita permítame vamos a hacer unos cuantos movimientos aquí malévolos un movimiento sexy. There you go. <laughs> okay, give me one second. And let me see. I'm going to open my WhatsApp here. Okay, momento de hidratación. Pueden tomar agua ahorita todo. <laughs> okay, I'm going to open the presentation. Let me see. Okay. I have. Carlo Evelyn Ingrid, here I have it. Here I go. Cha -cha 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 -cha. Okay, it's opening and I'm going to share it in a sec. There you go. And okay, I am going to share my screen right now. And ta -da! there you go. Good evening. Hey, ¿qué pasó? Sorry. Here I go again. There you go. Okay. Problema técnico. Se puso nerviosa la presentación. There you go. Thank you. English. Okay, There. good evening. I am presentation. Okay, she is Ingrid Moreira. My mother's Elida Mejia. My father Andres Moreira. And father, she's um father. She was born on June 17, 1997. She is a study primary school and sacred hair school in San Miguel. She studied general high school at uh, 20, 2015. She turned the university to study and degree in business administration in the Gerardo Barrio de, in, de San Miguel. University in human recursos specialization in 2020. I'm 21, studio and diploma in advanced photography. He is current student English with the Corporate English Academics and talent 
Talent Selection Weeks in some form mediante Academics Spanish. Thank you. Okay, you see Ingrid, my God, you have studied many things. Imagine you studied uh, business administration, then human resources, English, and now you are studying uh, talent selection. My God, you have studied a lot. Ingrid, sí que estudió un montón. So I am going to make short corrections here and taking advantage that I have the presentation. And you say her mother, Elida, you say her mother is Elida and is in her father and her father is Andres, right? And then you have here is, is Andres. Uh, she was born on June, the pronunciation, June 17, 1997. She studied primary school at the, uh, in this case, the name of the school, you don't need to change it. En este caso, si es el nombre propio de la escuela, no hay que cambiarlo. Decimos, eh, Colegio eh, Sagrado Corazón, I think, in San Miguel. She started General High School in 2015. She entered, entered the university to study a degree in business administration in, si es un nombre propio, no le ponemos da. You say in Gerardo Barrios. In Gerardo Barrios, right? In, in Gerardo Barrios University, you say, because we know that it is in, in San Miguel. So you say Gerardo Barrios University. Um, in Human Resources Specialization in 2020. In 2021, she, porque estamos hablando en tercera persona, she started, she started, right? She started, uh, I think it's a diplomado, right? She started, a diplomado, and I don't really remember the name, but I'm going to change it, in advanced photography. She, aquí es el contrario, she is currently studying English with the English Corporativo Academy, right? You don't change the name. And talent selection with, with INSAFOR. No podemos decir with the INSAFOR porque estaríamos eh, faltando ahí el nombre propio. Media Spanish Academy. So that's it. Those are the corrections that I can make to your presentations. Thank you very okay. much. English, you have studied a lot. That's very nice. Me gusta. Así como me. Me gusta estudiar un montón. <laughs> Jorge, thank you. Thank you, English. Very nice. And now let's receive Jorge. Good evening, teacher. Hello, Jorge. We are ready. Yay. Go. Uh, Voy a compartir pantalla para que tengamos. My presentation. There you go. Biography of Jorge Luis Muñoz Santos. He is Jorge. His mother is Ana Gloria. His father is Jorge Muñoz. He was born in La Paz. El Salvador on September 18, 1984. He studied kindergarten to secondary in San Rafael Obrajuelo and high school in Santiago Nonualco. He started to work on the factory in the 2006 year when he was 22nd years old, his first son was born. In 2013, the house where they lived was built. A year later, his daughter was born. He married three years later. They, they are now a complete family. Thank you very much. Very, very nice uh, biography, Mr. Jorge Luis. I have just a couple of comments. When you say uh, in the 2006 year, you say he started to work on the factory in 2006. You say in 2006. Solo hasta ahí lo dejamos. No tenemos que ponerle de en year. And the next one, 22nd. When he was 22nd years old, no say when he was 22. 
when he was 22 years old. And later, later, the pronunciation oh. later. Thank you very much. Very good presentation. Josue Alexander, the stage is yours. Good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening. He is Josue. His parents are Ana and Mario. He was born in San Salvador on March 2nd, 2006. He's the first son of his parents. Josue is in Mary. He is in high school and also studies English at night. He lives with his parents. He lives, he lives, lives. He lives with his parents. Very nice presentation, Mr. Josue. Josue, how old are you? ¿Cuántos años tienes, Josue? Uh, 16. 16, so you are the youngest of this group. 16 years old. Yeah, because when you told me he's studying high school, I said, like, how old is Josue? I said, he's 16. Very beautiful. Very nice presentation. Leaves, the only mistake there. And let's receive Jenny. Jenny, the stage is yours. Jenny's Hi. Jenny's biography. Se ve. de compartir pantalla, se ve. He was born in Santa Ana on December 21st, 1977. He studied up to high school in Santa Ana, but she studied university in San Salvador in San Salvador at the National University. She lived in San Salvador for six years and worked, worked at Social Security. Then in 1997, she started, she, she starts working at the Ministerio de Hacienda as an auditor and returned to live in Santa Ana. She was married in 2002 and, and had two beautiful daughters. Excellent, <laughs> very beautiful presentation. Wow, straight to the point, right? Straight to the point. And the pronunciation of worked and started. She started, right? She started working at Ministerio de Hacienda as an auditor and returned to live in Santa Ana. And that's it. She got two beautiful daughters. Excellent job, Jenny. Very nice. Very nice job. Congratulations to all of you. All of you did a fantastic job on your presentations. I feel very happy and very proud of your advance. If people say that you don't advance in 16 days, let me tell them that they are wrong because I have seen many changes on you, okay? I have seen many changes. Now you are more outgoing, you talk more. I, I don't know if I made you talk a lot. Quizá yo les hice hablar un montón, porque hoy sí hablan todo, hablan parejo. <laughs> That's very nice. Well, my dear students, it, uh, it's all about the presentations. I have a lot of, of comments here, all the comments of the presentations. And the final thing that I wanted to show to everybody is for sure a little bit of uh, the things that I need you to continue doing in order to continue advancing in your language, right? These are a couple of uh, uh, pieces of advice that I can give you for you to continue improving your English, right? Whatever thing you are doing during the day to improve your English is more than welcome. First thing that you have to do in English, set a goal, set a goal. Okay, pónganse un objetivo, ¿por qué están estudiando inglés? 
pónganse el objetivo, porque quiero superarme, porque quiero un mejor trabajo, porque quiero esto, porque quiero aquello, y pongan ese, ese goal, ese objetivo ahí en el espejo. ¿Por qué lo están haciendo? ¿Ok? For you to motivate yourself every day. Find a routine every day. Read English for 15 minutes. Listen to English for 15 minutes. Watch uh, videos in English, not TikToks, right? Watch videos in English for 15 minutes. Watch movies in English, right? Watch every single thing that you can do in English, right? And or find a, a, these grammar videos, grammar explanations, podcasts on Spotify, on YouTube. So find things for you to practice. Five or ten minutes can make a big difference. Si lo hacen todos los días, diez minutos, ya sea en su hora de almuerzo, cuando se levantan, cuando de repente pasamos media hora viendo videos, cambien esos videos por videos de inglés. Right? Practice your English. Si les gusta el deporte, lean de deporte, pero en inglés. Si les gustan los animales, busquen videos de animales en inglés. Si les gusta, no sé, la comida, busquen recetas en inglés. Right, but everything in English. Make mistakes, that's perfect. Practice a lot because practice is the only way to perfection. Learn different phrases. Don't learn isolated vocabulary. No aprendan solamente palabras. Aprendanse una frase cada día, okay? Not only one word, phrases. Practice your vocabulary every day. Record yourself. Si tienen, por ejemplo, ahí un grupo de WhatsApp con sus amigos, si no hagan alguno aquí con alguno del grupo, o si no, hagan un grupo con su esposo y de ahí lo sacan del grupo y que les quede el grupo hecho. Y graben notas de voz en inglés todos los días. Y de ahí se escuchan. Busquen un artículo, lo leen y de ahí se escuchan. Busquen frases pequeñas, las leen, las graban y se escuchan for you to listen to your vocabulary. Y diga, hey, dije parents. Y la teacher dijo que era parents. Ah, tengo que corregirlo, right? Read new words and phrases every day. This is important for you to advance on your vocabulary. Message people in English. In the group, I always say, send the messages in English, right? In English corporativo, the, the group. Always send the messages in English. Watch movies in English. Put the subtitles in English. Challenge yourself. And if you find new words or new vocabulary, write them down, right? And you, you can use a dictionary later for you to check on the meaning, right? And listen to the pronunciation of words. This is important. In the, on the internet, uh, on the translator or, or in, I think it's in, it, I think it's in Google that you can put the word in the pronunciation and you have a little mouth. Ahí le sale hasta una boquita donde ustedes pueden escuchar la pronunciación de las palabras y hasta cómo se tiene que poner los labios en, en, en el traductor de, de Google, pero no pongan translation, sino que pónganle, por ejemplo, routine, pronunciation. Y ahí les va a dar la pronunciación, cómo es el sonido y hasta cómo se mueve la boca. Si no, lo pueden buscar en YouTube. Pronunciation of, y ponen la palabra que buscan. Igual les salen los videos con el sonido correcto. And listen to music. Good music, not reggaeton. Right? Listen to good music in English and get the lyrics. Ok. Siempre bajen las letras, siempre busquen la versión de karaoke. ¿Por qué? Porque así no vamos a inventar nuevas canciones. No vamos a ponerle nuevas palabras a la canción. Read the lyrics. Try to imitate the song. Yo así aprendí. Yo ponía ahí las canciones de los Backstreet Boys y yo tenía el papelito ahí con la letra y la iba cantando. Ahora todo es más fácil. Ok, ahora ya lo tenemos en YouTube, listo. Tal canción, karaoke, right? In English, right? For sure. And practice. Every day, practice makes perfection, right? That's the only thing that it's going to give you perfection. You are doing a very good job. Keep doing that great job that you do. Thank you very much for sharing your biographies. Thank you for sharing a moment of your life with 
me. Thank you for this module. And that's all for today. And I am going to see you in the next modules with more classes. Okay. That's yes, it. Aneta, tell me. We, we finish today. Tomorrow we, we don't have. Vacation. <laughs> yes, yes. We finish classes today. Uh, for me, I, I can give you classes tomorrow and the other day. <laughs> but the module finishes today and uh, for sure you are going to continue with more and more classes please don't stop okay si ya iniciaron en este camino del aprendizaje no se detengan hasta que lo culminen porque después hubiera seguido ya hubiera terminado eso así que sabio consejo thank you very much son un super lindo much. grupo pasen la chévere y lo voy a esperar más adelante Igual, thank you. 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 Thank you.